Good morning, everybody. How you doing? I uh, hope you uh, had a good day yesterday. Hope you saw the blessings of the Lord and felt the fa- His favor on you. Um, today is going to be a gorgeous day. Um, they say that heat is coming, like 90s high humidity, but for the next couple days, I think it's going to be gorgeous. Um, and uh, that's just awesome. Um, so get out today, get some sun. Um, if you're uh, just, you know, sit out there for a few minutes um, and uh, enjoy enjoy and and speaking of that um this morning as i've been uh asking god seeking his face about what to speak to you about today um the word joy kept coming to mind i am uh, uh, convinced sometimes that that um uh, we sometimes forget the joy that we should have in our heart and sometimes uh, i think it's the joy of the lord that that continues to to push us through and the scripture that I really want to talk to you about is in John uh, 15 and uh, there's a it's it's uh, you know he's he's talking about I am the vine and my father is the vine keeper every branch in me that does not produce fruit he removes and it talks about producing fruit and and more fruit and much fruit and and it's about staying and remaining and and then that word remain is also trust and wait and rest and it's, it's about being in his presence, seeking his face, but being in the presence of God. Um, and um, I love, you know, as we talk about being in the presence of God, he is present, right? I mean, he is here with us, um, and he is with us every day. And um, even that thought alone should, should bring a deep joy in us. I know many of us are going through hard things. I know, um, you know, uh, just hardships around the world. There's worry and anxiety. But we as believers have a joy that cannot be taken. So I want to skip down in verse 15. Um, and in 11, well, really, let's start in 9. As the Father has loved me, I have also loved you. Remain in my love and If you keep my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commands and remained in His love. Remember, Jesus boils things down to His commands to love God and love others. And if we're doing those things, um, well, and love ourselves because, you know, love your neighbor as yourself. So, So as we're doing these things, we remain in His love, and God's love is perfect. God's love, um, uh, it casts out all fear. Um, it is God's kindness that leads us to repentance. It brings us back to place. This love is a, is a, is, is a powerful thing. And he says, remain in that. And, and then the writer says, I have spoken these things to you. And this is Jesus talking. Okay, these are in red letters. I have spoken these things to you so that m- my joy may be in you and your joy may be complete. This is my command, love one another as I have loved you. No greater love than this, than someone would lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends. If you do what I command you, I do not call you slave anymore because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from the Father. You did not choose me, but I chose you. I appointed you and you should go out and produce fruit and that your fruit should remain so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. This is what I command you love one another so really when I'm when I'm looking at this and we're thinking about joy joy springs forth from love love of the Father and love of others and love of ourselves as we begin to to understand this and 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 I want oh this is not a sloppy love okay Um, again I've talked about this a bazillion times but I love ice cream is not the same as that I love you or that I love God, or that I love His Word. Like, we're talking the love here that He keeps talking about is this unconditional love, which for some of us is such a hard concept. We, we, um, it's hard to fathom unconditional love, but, but we have unconditional love for, for people in our lives, our children, our grandchildren. We have, um, there is this love that, that is deep and it is 
that is amazing. And Joyce brings from that. When we read this, we, we understand this, that, that, that Jesus doesn't want, um, I love this, that, that his joy is in us, but that, that we can have a perfect kind of joy. In other words, a joy that does not um, leave us. Like, in hardships, we can still be joyful. Um, you know, I, I was uh, I did a funeral this week, and uh, the love and the joy that was in that room was so amazing because because I know this lady loved God, and, and he, she remained, and she loved others, and she loved her family, and it, and it remained, and she remained in there, and therefore there was this joy. And it was like this perfect joy and love that that came through through the and it was just beautiful um but there's some reasons why we should have this joy and it's found in the scripture okay and so and i'm you know first of all that he he loves us that brings joy that we love one another um no greater love than this than a man laid down his life for his friend that's he, he was talking about what jesus was jesus says this is what i'm getting ready to do you need to do this, and and yes, it means sometimes in a physical way. Sometimes it's just uh, we 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 lay down our lives, we put our desires and stuff aside so that we can um, show a love and compassion. He wants us to love one another, and love does not mean we agree on everything. And love does not matter of fact. Love means even if we don't agree on everything, we still love. And in that love, we have a complete joy. Um, but he says he calls us friends. He he says that that he um, is, he tells us everything that that he heard from the Father. Jesus says, "I'm giving you everything that I've got. I'm I'm not holding back. You are my friend, I'm not just a slave. Not just because as a ma I mean, as Jesus, he could have called us slaves, but he said, "No, you are our friend," which means that you know uh, we sing a song, "We are a friend of God." What an amazing thing that brings joy that God loved us so much. That he sent Jesus to lay down his life for us, but that he could have relationship with us, and that um, that through that love it changed so much, it changed everything. I mean, I'm talking uh, how we live our life was changed by the death of Jesus, but even more by the resurrection of Jesus. Like he came out of that grave and gave us power to live this kind of life, and then he says. Here's another point of joy. He chose us. It says he chose, and he was talking to the disciples, yes, and, and we read the story how he, he saw Matthew. He said, come follow me. He saw Peter, come follow me. He, he, but when we really think about this us, it's like, yeah, we choose him. We make a decision to follow him. But he is choosing us. He is pouring into us to move us to that decision. Not making that decision for us, but he's showing up in our lives in certain ways so that we would see him, know him, recognize him, follow him. Let us not be like the rich young ruler that lacks selling things. You know, he says, you lack one thing, go sell everything because he was rich and then give to the poor. It wasn't that those things were bad. It was that that thing was his idol. Those things, it says he went away uh, sad because he had many things. Joy is not based on those things. Joy is is based on giving of things, giving our lives away, giving our love to people, giving our love to God, staying in that love unconditionally. Um, even in times where we disagree with one another, we still jump in and we still love each other and we still go from there because we have been chosen by God to go out and do things that he's called us to do. And he says, another joy, if you are in the right heart, if you are in the right perspective, anything that we ask in Jesus' name will be given. If we are life, if we are allowing him to renew our minds, listen, then if, and we are, our desires have been changed. In other words, it's not about me, but it's about others. I'm loving God. I'm loving others. Yes, I'm loving myself, but I'm loving myself in, in, towards Jesus. In other words, loving self is not selfish. It is actually the opposite of that. And so all of a sudden we have this joy that nobody can take away. I've experienced hardships in my life, um, but God has remained the center and there is joy and no one can steal that so today as it's a gorgeous day go out enjoy 
give out the love of the Father because he loved us so much. You are a friend of God. Father God, help us to go out in your name asking for things that you have asked us to ask for and help us to have that complete joy and that complete joy we would recognize even in hardships. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Guys, I love you to pieces. We'll see you tomorrow.